Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Sis on the phone. Why, why are we being oppressed today? Do you believe in the Bible, sis? Why in the Bible? Why, why, what does God say why are we being oppressed today? More, more than any other people on the earth. Why are we being oppressed today? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Come take a look at the sign. We out here for you, sis. That's right. We out here for you. Because many of us will go on march. We'll say, no justice, no peace, black lives matter. But then, when it comes to God giving us the solution to our problems, or God trying to inform us of why these things are happening, a lot of our people don't want to hear the word of God. Sure. A lot of our people don't want to hear the Bible. Or a lot of our people just don't know. So I'm asking you, do you know why we're going through what we're going through? Why do we have to go through this right here? Why out of all people the Lord put us through this right here, through slavery? Yeah. No, no. Let's figure that thing out. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one, right quick. Let's figure that out. Because this is, you can sit it down. Because this is what our pastors should have been teaching. That's why we, we've been in church for, you know, tell decades, hundreds of years. But a lot of us still roam the streets, not knowing who we are, not knowing what we're supposed to be doing, how we're supposed to be living. You just go in there, he give you a little a sermon to make you feel good for the week. You take, you pay him, you give him your little tires, and then you go on about your, you go on about your day. Meanwhile, outside of the church, your brother over here just got gunned down by the police. On the other side, your brother sent a dope to your, your sister. You know what I'm saying? Your sister just got raped over here. He got shot over here. But the church is on every block. So let's read this. Let's figure out Deuteronomy 1 and 1 right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness. So this is, are you familiar with a little bit of Bible history? So you remember Moses delivered his people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. So this is after that. Now, this book of Deuteronomy is written to those people. These are the words which Moses spake unto those people after they got out of Egypt. Now let's see, because Moses gave them an ultimatum from the Lord. The Lord told them, tell these people this right here. Deuteronomy 28, 1. Or 15, let's go to 15 first. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told these people, the commandments the Lord just gave me to give you, if you don't listen to them, to apply it to your life and do them, then the Lord is gonna curse y'all as a people. Right. Right. That's what that's what he told the Israelites. Now let's read some of these curses. Let's figure out is this a, this is applied to anybody in the world today? Let's see who it applies to. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So he told these people, he said, no matter where you live in, whatever city you are, whatever country you are, you will be cursed in that location. No, it says also you will be cursed in the field. Huh, so I want you to keep that in your mind as we continue to read on. That you will be cursed with brother, come learn your history. Come over here. You know your history, so who are we in the Bible? 
Assalamu alaikum. That's not a nationality. You see what I'm saying? That's right. You see what I'm saying? Read verse, let's read verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says another curse is that our sons, our children will be taken away from, our, the Israelites' children will be taken away from them and given to another people. That's another curse. Why? Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Meaning when, your when those children are taken away from these people, you will have no strength, no power to get them back. All you're going to do is sit there watch and mourn. Right. You have no power. You have no, no, uh, no military to get them back. You won't have no economic power to be able to get those children back. Right. They're gone. What's those children going to be doing? Read verse 41. Let's figure out. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, and thou shalt not enjoy them. You will not enjoy your children. Why? For they shall go into captivity. What does captivity mean, sis? Slavery. That's You're absolutely correct. Slavery. Huh, it's, it's starting to sound familiar. But remember, the Bible says the Bible says it's most talked to the Israelites. But it sounds familiar. It sounds like something we didn't heard before. Read verse 64. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Won't you take a look at this sign, sis? It says that we will be scattered from one corner, one side of the earth to the other. We will be scattered everywhere. Who did this? What history is that? Who did this happen to? Can everybody claim that history? Absolutely not. We can take a claim to this history. Look at this. They took us from the, the west coast of Africa. They brought us to South America, North America, to the islands. They took us over to Europe. Some went to uh, Arabia over here, to Asia. That's all over the globe. That's why no matter where you go on this earth, you're going to see people that look like who? Us. That's right. And everywhere we are, guess where we're going to be at? The bottom. Right. Because guess what? This Bible, this this book is our book. That's it's full of prophecies that pertain to us. This is our history. Right. But God said these things will happen to us. Why? If you were paying attention to the beginning. Why he said these things will happen to us? Yeah. What did we do? Mm -hmm. We are different, but you got read verse 15 again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. So it says if we refuse to listen and do what God tells us to do, then what's going to happen? Which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says these curses are going to come upon us. What we just read are the curses. That's right. And it's way more. This whole the rest of that chapter is full of detailed prophecies of what will happen to our people. Absolutely. What I want you to see, sis, is that the Lord allowed those people to do that, to come against us and do that. Right. The Lord allowed them, like people think, people think just because of the white man's strength or his might that he was able to take us over. That's not true. The Lord allowed them to do that. That's why you had hundreds of slaves in the field, but only one person overseeing them. And don't none of them revolt. Don't none of them revolt and just, just kill the one man and kill the people in the house and just go. Because the Lord allowed that thing to happen. And he allowed it to happen. Why? Because of our disobedience to him. That's Give me Deuteronomy 85 right quick. Deuteronomy 85. Yes, sir, you can put it down, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 5. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son. The Bible says that we must consider in our mind that as a father would chastise, chastise or whoop or correct his son that goes off, that what? Read. So the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. 
the Lord is not coming off his throne, putting a, uh, tapping us on, on a behind, uh, hitting us with a belt. He punished our nation. This is his version of chastity right here. Right. Us being shot down in the street, that's his version of being chastity. That's, that's right. right. Us going to prisons at high rates, that's him trying to correct us, to show us that something is wrong here. Something we doing is wrong. Since, it's, since 1973, our sisters have had over 19 billion abortions. But for somehow, we still march and say Black Lives Matter. For some reason, somehow Black Lives still matter to us. We gun each other down every week on the block, over colors, over nothing. But somehow Black Lives still matter to us. We sell dope every week on the corner. You're absolutely correct. We are special people. But what, what makes us a special people? Because if you look around today, bro, our people, our people not acting special. They are. They are. But if they look at each other and they hear the only with their skin tone, uh -huh. they really hear the only Durham's uh, 76 right quick. Cause I'm gonna I'm show you sis, cause this, what you're saying is very correct. What you're saying is very correct. If our people understood who they are, we wouldn't have the violence like we have. We wouldn't have our sisters having to prostitute themselves to make money. We wouldn't have our sisters having low self-esteem where they feel like, I'm not ready to, to be a mother, I have this kid, so I got a kid. I Read up. Make money. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people. God says we're a holy people, meaning separate. We're different. We're special. Yeah. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To be a, a what kind a of people? A special people. A special people. You got to think. It says that the Lord chose us, meaning all the, all the people he created. He could have chose anybody. That's right. He could have said, you know what? I want the Caucasians to be my people. Bring it up. I want the Arabs to be my people. Let me choose the Chinese. No. He chose the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people who are under, un, what is it, un, uh, wanted, undesired in this world. He chose those people to be his special people. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.